OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. All right, good morning, everybody. I hope everybody can see my screen. I am sharing my screen. So I am currently in Santa Clara. Um, and it is good that I didn't decide to go to Chula Vista because I have a lumbago <laughs> which started yesterday, so I couldn't even have driven down south. So welcome to my workshop. Uh, I hope at the end of this workshop you will be in love with Jamboard the way I am in love with Jamboard. My students even say that I am totally addicted to Jamboard and they are not wrong about that for sure. Um, so feel free to ask questions on the uh, chat, all right? And um, so I have it on me my other screen. And also we have the moderator who will help me if I miss some. And there might be people entering the room because the keynote has just ended in Chula Vista. So there will be people sitting in front of their computer getting ready. So, but let's get started because Jamboard is a big, beautiful tool and we have a lot to study. So first, let me introduce myself a little. Uh, my name is Celine Signorini Bakan, and uh, I teach at uh, California College of Communications. We are now located in Campbell, uh, in California. Uh, you have my email address here, but I can share it with you later. And I am an ESL instructor. I teach upper levels. I teach level five and level six. Um, and I use Jamboard in basically every topic I teach. Um, because um, like what I love in Jamboard is that it is collaborative. So um, we will get there very quickly about the collaboration stuff. But first, so I just want to say that I will <laughs> praise Jamboard. And this afternoon, I will praise Google Forms, but I don't get any money from Google. And so we are going to see first, like step by step, how to make a Jamboard. And then uh, getting to know your Jamboard, learning about the toolbar, and then Google Jamboard as a collective platform. And how do you use Google platform in your uh, Google Jamboard in your classes? I will show you a few examples of what I do. And I think we're good with this one. So let's go to the next one. So it's a follow along uh, uh, workshop. So I really invite you to do as I do on your own computer. So we are going to start with where to find your Jamboard. So you might notice that my presentation is actually on a Jamboard. So you will open your Google Drive, all right? So I have a shortcut here. Maybe you have a shortcut here too, Google Drive. And then from your Google Drive, you have new. So you will click on new and you will go down and more because it doesn't appear right away. And this is where it is, Google Jamboard. So you click on the Jamboard and it opens an empty board, all right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right away share that with you. So anyone with the link can actually edit. I will talk about sharing later and then I will copy the link and I am pasting the link in the uh chat so everybody should be able to open the link i should see many little things appear here yeah some people are already here so feel free to open another one you are here on your computer but we are going to testing and really come here to this one so that i can see that people uh, start to do what i explain right uh so okay so this is where to find it we just saw that so more and then Google Jamboard and it opens a uh, Jamboard, all right? So getting to know Jamboard, I know it's always kind of um, intimidating maybe to uh, meet a new tool. And I started to work on Jamboard at the beginning of the pandemic um, because we were looking for ways to uh, interact with the students uh, better. And it was a very good way to um, have them work on the same at the same place, like in the same uh, page um, and, and to share everything. So that, that was really, to me, it was probably the best 
part of the pandemics that I discovered Google Jamboard. So here at the top of your board, you can give a, if you click, you will give a title, right? This is where we were going to spend a lot of time because these are all, it's the toolbar, right? Then you have two carrots at the top to go to the left and to go to the right. And here you have a screen in the middle. We will explain that later. And on the right, the top right hand corner, you can share your Jamboard. And this is a very important thing because you want to share that with your students most of the time. All right, so we are here. We give a title, it is here, the toolbar is here, and then you have your board here, the carrot to go to the left, to the right. It adds a new board automatically when you go to the left, to the right, and then you can go back to the other boards, sharing devices here, and then you have this, but we can get back to that later too. So first page, let's see. So let's name our Jamboard, right? So we are here and we are going to call it um template all right template and then i say okay and the title appears here right away no it's not like google slides because google slide is less collaborative and this is i think easier to use i am answering a question from the from the chat uh i prefer that i hardly use um slides now either except if i want a very specific template to do something but otherwise I use Jamboard all the time. It is so much faster when you know how to use it. And remember the point is really to be collaborative. Like for example, the people who are here, okay? All of you click on this icon, the little sticky note, right? Here on the left side and you will write, hello. So I am here in California and if you click here, so on the left side, Sticky note, and then you can post a sticky note. That, that, that's, uh... Yeah, uh huh. Hi, everyone. See, so, <laughs> and you can move it around. It is very easy. Um, you don't need to select anything but that. So I really like it. So everybody can write on my board, and it takes just really two seconds. So this is why I prefer it much to um, Google Slides. All right, yes. so we named our Jamboard. Our Jamboard is named Templates. All right. Hello, Mantura. And Milpita is just next to me. <laughs> All right, so you name your Jamboard. Remember to try on your own in another Jamboard, right? And if you don't remember where to find it, it is on the drive or for people who are latecomers. You open your drive, you scroll down more. And then you find it here, Google Jamboard, and it opens a blank new board. So do that and work on your own and then work on mine when I ask you to intervene so that we can see like the progress of everybody. Uh, all right, so now we've named the board. So let's just start to modify the board. So we are here on the top right left-hand corner. All right, you have set background. So you will just click on that and it will open a different types of background you can choose from. All right, so let's add a background. So to save energy, I very often use the black one. Um, and also because I find that the, um, the difference in terms of color, I cannot remember. Uh, <laughs> go Kelsey, see someone from my school. <laughs> So the, the contrast is much better uh, with a blackboard. Um, so yeah, so but you can choose something. You can also add your own frame. Uh, if you want to import, like for example, I will go to uh, Google image, right? And I will look for, I don't know, let's, let's be Californian, sunset. <laughs> and then I will add a sunset to my board. All right, so sometimes it's not the right size. So sometimes you need to resize, but anyway, it is, good enough but then yeah it turns my background in white so i will remove it and i will just go back to my black frame but it's very easy to change the background all right and then you have here um on the top so here too right so you have this little thing to undo something and then if you want to redo something so that's here in the top left hand corner you have a little uh zoom 
right? If you want to make it bigger or smaller and then set background, we just saw it and clear frame, well, try not to do it because it removes everything. So if I do that, ah, crisis, but then up undo and everything is back. So that's much better. So there is always a way to, you know, like if you make a mistake to find a way to fix it. Um, okay. And then for, yeah, that's for the zoom right here. So you can change, make it bigger, make it smaller. So zoom in, zoom out. I don't really use that um, most of the time. Um, all right, so these are the things that you can find on the top left-hand corner. So I hope you are trying to, yes, yeah, someone changed the template here. Can you add the template, um, the one with the little uh, square? I don't remember the name in English, but anyway. Um, or the gray, the gray one. Can someone put the gray background on our template? Yep, cool, all right. So, so far so good, I guess. So let's move on. Uh, now in the center, this is also very interesting. So you go to the left and you go to the right, okay? So the only thing I don't like about Jamboard is that you cannot use your keyboard to move forward and back. You always need to click. Um, so that's, that's, I keep on asking Google to, to make that available, but they haven't done it yet, hopefully in the future. And so if you click here, you will expand the frame bar, right? So it opens the frame bar at the top. So if I go straight, if I want to go straight to this, I will go there, all right? If I want to go back to where I was, and now I don't remember, so it might be this one. Oh, no. It is actually this one. Okay, here. So you can move from one board to the other. Uh, Jamboard has only 20 frames. Uh, so this is why I have one, two, three here for my presentation because 20 is actually not so many. Uh, so you can move from all of them all along, right? And then you can come back here. And what you can do too is that you can add new ones. So on this one, of course, you can't because it is already uh, 20. But here in my templates, if you click here and you can add, so one at the end, okay? Or maybe I want to insert one here. So I will insert one in the middle and then I click and this is the one I am on, right? So now I want to insert one here. And so I click here and I will choose blue. It's also very nice background. So yeah, either, if you want to use, you just need to click the next. See, we have five. And now if I click, it creates six. But sometimes I forgot to say something. So I need to insert one. So you just add a frame. And then you have this little kebab menu here that I think we are going to talk about soon. But you can duplicate a frame. So for example, I really like this one. So I will duplicate. And then you can decide to delete. How do you do the background again? Okay, so it is here, set background, change background. At the top left-hand corner, set background. Uh, all right, so mm, 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 we did that and then we did that. So you can add, you can um, delete, you can duplicate. Uh, duplication is very interesting depending on what you do. I will show you later. So that's the top center and then let's go to the top right hand corner which is here so you have this little kebab um kebab menu right and you have share and you have me my profile all right so let's start with this one the kebab menu right so you can rename you can download as a pdf if you want to um yeah do a presentation but you don't need to you can just keep it that way too uh, and then uh, save them as images, remove, make a copy, and then send things back to Google. So this is where I ask them to change some stuff on the Google. Um, and then see version history. So see when I prepared that, it was not here. So they added one, uh, one uh, feature. So now let's talk about the sharing um, thing. So you will click here, okay? And it will open this window, share, yeah, Jamboard. So you need to choose 
who is seeing it, right? So either it is restricted, but that way you cannot, like only people with the email can see it or anyone with the link. So for example, if you post on your uh, classroom or anywhere uh, on the web you want your students to access to, you need to choose this one. Anyone with the link, it is easier. And then this is my Jamboard, so I don't want anybody to change it. So this is where I go. And then everybody is a viewer, all right? Because if everybody is an editor, everybody is messing up with my Jamboard. So remember to do that when you want a Jamboard, for example, to teach a grammar point, right? If you don't want your students to change anything, remember that they should be only viewers and then done. So that here, for example, remember on the template, if I click here again, anyone with the link is an editor because everybody can write on this Jamboard. Uh, okay, so, so far so good. I guess that there are no questions. Uh, so remember to click on restricted if you want to, okay? It is by default, but it is not my favorite, but I always choose anyone with the link. And the sharing setting, it is super important, as I told you, because many times my Jamboard, at the beginning, I didn't know, I didn't pay attention, and my Jamboard was a mess because students move everything around and I couldn't find anything anymore. So this is like, yeah, students, if they are viewers or editors, this is very important to remember. So I made an entire frame about that. Uh, because editors can modify your docu document, viewers, they can only view, of course, um, and then share to choose the right option, the one you want, uh, when you copy and paste the link, and then you can send it through WhatsApp, through the chat for anything, so it is very easy, you can add it to a slide, you can add it to a doc, so that works very well. So that was for the sharing option. So now what we can do, because I guess that I asked you to, um, I asked you to uh, open your own Jamboard. So I am adding my email address in the chat. So can you share your board with me? And then I can open and I can see what you've done uh, so that I make sure that everybody understands how to share. So you go to the share, and then you add people so you can add me here with my email address. Or you can paste, copy and paste the link. Maybe it is easier actually. Um, because I will have an invitation in my emails maybe. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Sorry, I'm watching the other way because my computer is here. So yeah, so maybe just like only write on the board as an editor and not edit it. So I don't understand if 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 there are editor, they can edit. Yeah, like you mean, yeah, you cannot decide that this frame they are not touching, but the next one they can modify. Yeah, definitely. So oh, someone shared a jam board with me. Oh, two. <laughs> All right. So here they are, up, this is one. So it's a very wide Jamboard, but it's a very perfect Jamboard. And then I have Anna, let's open. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, so yeah, so you can really person person personalize um, your Jamboard as much as you want. Uh, so yeah, students, if they can edit, they can edit the entire Jamboard. So um, it is, um, yeah, I'm I was just thinking about a way not to have them modified one frame, but except if you take a copy of the frame, like you take a picture and then you post it so that the frame, they cannot delete any elements, otherwise it is not possible. All right, okay, so I am closing that because after that I have far too many. So that was for the sharing, anybody, did you get mine, Susanna? Did you share with the, ah, yes, it is here, Susanna. Let me open, practice. Up. So this is Susanna's Jamboard. Up. All right, perfect. Yeah, so let's move on to, let me close that. Right, and what is that? I don't know. Uh, up, so sharing is done. Now let's start to use the Jamboard. You, named it, right? There is a title and then you decided for your sharing option. 
Now what you can do. So this is on the left hand side, the toolbar, right? And there are many, many things you can do with Google Jamboard. So you can draw, right? And then you can erase, of course, you can select, you can stick. So this is select where I am now, right? When you don't write. So we can have a duplicate of Jamboard before inviting students. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You can make a copy, it is here. Make a copy of the Jamboard. So yeah, the question is like, can we make a copy so that if the Jamboard, if the students mess up with your Jamboard, you have a copy? Yeah, it is here. The kebab menu at the top and then make a copy. Um, all right. Um, so sticky notes, it is very easy. This is sticky note, image, shapes, text box, and then laser pointer. So laser pointer, if I want to, that's particularly easy to understand, but let's just, start with the first one. So you want to draw, okay? Uh, I'm not very good at drawing, but I don't use that very often. But if you, for example, if you have a, you can create an exercise for like a mix and match, right? So students can use drawing to connect things, right? So if you click here on the draw, which is at the top here, the first one in the toolbar, you open this uh, little window, all right? So you will choose the color. Uh, so it's Google, right? So you basically have the Google colors and then you can choose the style, right? So the styles are here from this one to the left to this one to the right. It is very thin and then it is very thick. And that, for example, if you want to highlight something, so let me do that actually. Uh, I want to highlight that, it is very important. You cannot really see, but on, so if you write something and you want to highlight, this is probably useful, um, but otherwise probably the first one is the one you are going to use. It is not very nice though, right? So what can we do about it? I guess that the answer is in the next frame. Let me just delete that, all right, and that too. So I don't want that to be here, so I move. So yeah you're not very happy with what you've written, it is very ugly and so you want to erase. So this is our second one. <laughs> so you click here and then you have this little round, right? This little circle here and you will be able to erase anything. So let me write, like, let's say that I want to draw a tree and I am very, very bad at drawing. So this is a tree and I really don't like it. So I will just delete the tree. And you will be surprised the first time your students use Jamboard, you will have people write everywhere for some reason that I still don't understand. So yes, you can clear very easily. So everything you write, you can erase with the eraser. Um, you just need to move in circles, all right? So you can erase everything that you've written. This is the pointer. So this is very easy. It allows you to select something. It allows you to do all the um, actions you can do from Google, all right? Um, and uh, all right, yeah. So when something is selected, it is in a blue circle like that, right? Like I am selecting this, so it appears in a blue. And if I select this one too, my uh, Bitmoji too, and this is also a thing I've added. So you click and it becomes blue and then you can do actions on it. Uh, so, so far, can you use this with Canva? So I'm pretty sure, yes. So Google Doc is nice, but Google Doc is, is um, yeah, I, I hardly use it. Like my students write their essays on Google Doc, but nothing much more like that. Or maybe, yeah, I really like Google uh, Jamboard. So you, you have, it's easier and you have more option. It is very easy to move things around on Google. Uh, there is a question about like Canvas. Yes, you can share that in Canvas too. And or anything, you know, like Google friendly and basically everything is pretty much Google, Google friendly. All right, so any other questions so far? No, I can go on. All right, so let's just uh, move to the next one, which will be adding sticky notes. Um, it is very 
handy, it is very fast too. So this is the one, the sticky note is the little thing on the side here. So you click on the sticky note and this is what it opens. So let me do it here. It opens the sticky note and then you rewrite. All right, and then you save and it appears here and then you can move it wherever you want. So that's the first thing you click, you write. So you did it before, right? So I think that this is, uh, and this is the, the easiest thing to use on, on Jamboard for your students too. You can choose a color, of course. So you have green, blue, and you have also transparent, which I like. Uh, because if you want to write equal, for example, or plus between something, and, and it, is, it is very, very easy. So like this one, and now you can have empty ones like, like that, right? It is a sticky note, but it is transparent. So, and I have one here now somewhere. All right. Um, so you choose the color and then you write whatever you want and then you save uh, or you cancel if you don't like it. Uh, there is a new feature too, like now you can post when it is empty before uh, you couldn't, uh, not a long time ago, there was some like, you had to write something on the sticky note, but now you don't. So I think it's just pretty cool. Um, all right. So the sticky note always appears. Ah, yeah, let me show you that. It always, what is that? So we, um, oh, we are on Susan's Jamboard. Okay. Uh, because someone changed the name. That's cool. All right. So let me, uh, what was I talking about? Sorry, I lost the track of my thought. Oh, now I don't remember. Oh, yeah. So when you post a note, see, they all appear here. And then <laughs> we have so many. So you can, you need to move them, right? Oh, hi, we don't see this one. So up, let me make it green. So whatever you post, it will always appear on the top left-hand corner, and then you need to move it around. Uh, and but again, this, it is very easy to move the sticky notes around. Like there is nothing easier than that. So remember that if you post many, like at the same time, they are all going to be piled up, right? Oh no. They don't. Okay, so that's cool. So they just they change features and then I, I cannot catch up. So they just like spread all along, but still you can move them everywhere. Maybe because it is I am posting them. Oh yeah, that's it. Because I post them, they spread on my Jamboard, but when you guys post them, in that case, they pile up and we need to move them around. Um, okay, so that was the sticky note. Um, now let's talk about this little, again, kebab menu here on the top right-hand corner of your sticky note, right? So it will open a little window and on this window, you can edit. Um, so let's take this one because it's not very clear what it is about, right? So I will edit so you can change what is written. I will write great, I love Jamboard. Uh, but if you double click, it opens the same. So you don't need to open edit. You can change whatever you want just by clicking, double clicking to them. And then you can duplicate. Um, so up and then it is the same. And then you change the color and then you save. So duplicate and then you can delete, of course. So I will just delete this one I've just added. And finally, um, you will have the order, and this is quite important. Um, oh, I have a question. Can you email me your presentation, please? Oh, uh, yes, uh, uh, I will. Okay, I will do it later, all right, after the presentation. I can share the link if you want in the chat for now. Uh, let me just copy the link. And of course, you are viewers, guys, all right? So up, this is the first 20 frames. Um, so let's talk about the order because it is quite important um, when you create some frames uh, with multiple things on them, you need to decide what is on top of the other thing, right? So you have bring to the front, bring forward, send backward, send to the back, okay? so. If you have several notes and you want to superpose them and you want the blue to be on top of the orange one, right? So if I, like, let me finish showing. 
So if you move, you're not sure that the blue one will be on the orange one. Possibly if you wrote the orange one last, it will be on top of the blue one. So what you are going to do is that you're going to edit, right? So this little kebab menu here, all right? And then you scroll down, order, and you will decide if you send it to the back or if you bring it forward. So let me go to the next frame. Oh, nice. We have musician. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to the frame number three. I am going to write something and then on a green, something else. And I will, okay, so that's enough. So because I created the green one after the orange one, it is on top and I don't want that. So I go to order and then I send it to the back. And if I want to change it, I just do that, right? And if I want this one to come to the front, I will just bring it to the front. So you move them, but then when you file them up, uh, it change the, changes the order. So maybe it seems not very important, but um, I can show you some, uh, like if you want to, oh, for example, here, did I do something like that here? Mm. So yeah, this is on top of this one, right? And so I needed to tell Jamboard, this one needs to be on top. So if I click on the frame, you will see that it is, so I can bring it to the back and then you don't see it anymore. And I want to bring it back to the front. So, oh, and now I lost my text. Oh, because, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so, all right. So I will show you how to make frames and to change the order later. Because if you have one, two items and three items, it's, it is becoming complicated and it's much thinking to file them in the correct order. So remember that for, for sticky notes, you do that. You just click here and then order, bring to the front, and then it will bring back. I never really understood the difference between backward and back because I, maybe I don't use it like to that extent, but um, pretty much that's what I use, like bring to the front and send to the back. All right, so that's how to draw an order on your Jamboard. And then maybe because we've already covered 19 slides and we are halfway to the presentation, you know now how to change the color of a sticky note. You can write on the frame. You can add a new frame. You can go to the next frame, choose a background, draw orders to your notes, erase, name your Jamboard, get an overview, and add some sticky notes. Okay, basically, we've covered this one until the sticky notes. Uh, do you have any questions so far? No, okay then. So I guess that we can start the second set of slides. We are going to um, move a little forward and then we can work together more um, to uh, like apply what we've just seen so far. So we saw the sticky notes right here on the side. Now image, you can insert an image, all right. So if I click here, it will open that window. I can upload from my computer. I can add the link and then it will find the image. I can use my webcam, but it is not on. And then uh, it is not like activated for that. And then I can choose Google images. I can get them from my drive and I can get them for Google Photos, all right? So um, let's say that, I don't know what I have planned first. So, but these are your options, okay, to insert images. So let's go to the next one. So what I do is that I have many photos on my computer and these photos I use a lot like arrows. For example, this arrow is one of my photo. Um, so you can, Upload an image from your computer. I think that I will show you it is the easiest way to do that. So, oh, someone renamed my board now. I am, okay. So I will click here. I will upload. I will browse. It goes to my hard drive. 
And here I have so many, many PNGs, right? Because PNGs, they have the background transparent and I am a little obsessed by the niceness of my Jamboard. So I have arrows. So you see like I have a black one. And so it is named so that I can find them very easily. So this morning I was finishing my slides for this afternoon for the, um, for the Google Forms session. And so I wanted a green arrow. So I just go to green. I have green small one, and then I have a light blue. I have so many, I have so many, many, many items that I use <laughs> that I used in some past jam boards and some maybe future. So you just download on your, um, so let's use that because it is used at the beginning, right? Up, so I will post that. So of course my board is white, let's put it, yeah, blue maybe, okay. All right, so this is here. And then you can maybe add the sticky note inside, okay? But, oh, I cannot see my sticky note anymore, right? Because it is not at the front. So up, and then you bring to the front. And then this one you bring to the front. And then it is to the front of everything, of course. When you bring it to the front, it is in the front of my bubble. It is also to the front of this uh, sticky note. Um, and then you need to think about everything because, so this is where it changes something, I guess. If I do set to the front and then, sorry, I'm thinking at the same time, but yeah, so no, it doesn't change anything. I don't understand why we have these different options um so what you need to remember is that when you click and you send it to the back it's at the back of everything right so i think that the easiest is probably at the end you just choose that you send that in the in the back and then it is the easiest way to do it so i will show you more uh, device options because we can add some text and i would add this very beautiful bubble to add some text so I wish and it says sorry to and keep you the Lord true. The sorry, I couldn't understand the question. Can you hear me? Because I cannot hear you. Everybody online can hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. So yes. I don't know what's happening with the sound in Chula Vista. Okay, everybody can hear me. So I will show that again because maybe that was the question. So you open your uh, add image, all right? And then you, I will choose upload for now, right? And I browse, it goes to my, uh, you know, it is my downloads and then my images, right? So I have a file and I have many different things. So for example, I want to signify my students that it is super important. So I downloaded so many different attention signs because depending on the color you use, you want them to see it. So let's choose this one because it's a very pretty one. It's a very warning one. So yeah, and because it is transparent, right? It's a PNG, uh, PNG file. So it, it is, there is no white background. Uh, and it is much prettier. So if you want um, to download, I will tell you because we have time. Uh, if you look for an image, so I will look for a bicycle, all right? I look for a bicycle and then I will type bicycle PNG, right? Because you need to find PNG files because they are the one with the background. So I will choose a pretty bicycle that I like, right? I go to images and then I will download this one because it's pretty. I open, I hope I can download it without too much problem. Is it like, because sometimes it's not free. Oh, this one is very pretty. So free download, but I need to sign up. So anyway, you understand the concept, right? Um, there are many free PNGs and if you type free, it doesn't really change anything. Uh, maybe this one. So I have my favorite sites and then I just download. So this one is free. All right. So that's a very pretty bicycle. I will download the PNG. So you need probably to prove you're a human being. So I need to click on the V, the dollar, the eight and the A. All right. 
and then it opens. So I will name it by C O. All right. I add it here, and then I want to find it. I want to add it to my Jamboard. So again, I come here, images, upload right from my computer, browse, and then it should be somewhere. A A A A. Attention, baby. No balloon. Oh, beach chair. That's nice. And so here is my bicycle. And so I insert my bicycle. And if I want to fit it in that, well, that works. And if I want to move it around, I can. And I can do pretty much everything I want with these bicycles. Make it bigger, bring it to the back, and so on. Uh, all right. So that's for, oh, I should probably close this one. So that's for uploading from my Google Drive. All right, so I have many, many, many photos and it's very handy when, when you do a lot of jambos. How did you get the bubble again? Oh, it is it is in my, my hard drive. But if you type bubble PNG, oh, uh, bubble uh, cartoon, maybe. Car Okay, where am I? <laughs> Cartoon, PNG. So yeah, so you want this one, you like it and it is pretty. So let's see if I can download it. So you just type bubble cartoon PNG, right? And then you open it and you see if you can download it for free. Hopefully I can. Uh, maybe I can't because this download is not the one I'm looking for. Um, so anyway, you will download it the way I downloaded the bicycle, and then you will find it in your um, in your hard drive, right? So in my drive, I have one specific file called images, and I have all of them, so that when I know where to find them, and you see, like the more I make Jamboard, the more I have. And you can also use that for your Google Slides, actually, or even probably for your Google Form. So any type of Google when you want to add something. You just need to make sure that the site where you go, it is free. So this one, it gives many, many options, but not the option to download the, the way I want. So I will not insist. Let me just have a look. So this is just advertisement. So don't click on that. Yeah, so it is not possible to download. They want me to sign up, I guess. And I don't really want to do that. Um, so remember when you look for an image to type PNG, it is easier. And then you have it in your computer forever. Uh, all right, where are you storing Excuse all your me. PNG? Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I can hear you. Oh, the, this question? Like that was I the same saw... question. Mm, yeah. You're reading so my on, question. Yeah, on my, on, my, uh, on my hard drive, they are stored in my hard drive. Um, and I try to be as precise as I can when I name them so that I know exactly what I'm looking for because I have like probably 30 arrows. So, you know, I need to know which one I look for. So black one, long one, small one, brown one. <laughs> and then I have like attention, attention, all black, like round and black and white, round blue. Like, so I, I just try to give names that are very clear so that I know. And bubbles, I have many because I find it very cool um, to add some comments sometimes. Uh, so I have a lot to choose from. If I want like a black background, remember, but you can have, um, if you have a white background, you can have things like that. And then I didn't tell you, oh yeah, so let's do that actually. Up. So you can decide that you don't, let me get rid of that. You don't really like that in that side. So you can just move around. And so it will come to the vertical opposite the same way. To clarify, PNG indicates that the image, yeah, trans transparent. Yeah, exactly. PNG is just that the image is without background. Because if you type only, like, um, let me see, bubble cartoon, right? I will type that. And I will have that. So let me open this one. And if I, I can also, so if I use an image, like just an image from the computer, you just copy the image and then you will paste. But then there is this white background and I really don't like it. It's very not nice, not very nice, really not nice actually. And so I don't want that. So I would choose bubbles, um, like bubbles with PNG so that you don't have that. But yeah, definitely if you want to add an image right from the, uh, like I want to add, 
Well, I'm French, so after all, let's add the Tour Eiffel, all right? And so I want to add the Tour Eiffel. I open that. I can take it from here, copy image. And here it is with a pretty bicycle and the, and then again, you make it bigger, you make it smaller, you can move it to the side, okay. And then if I want, so it's the last thing I've added, right? So it is all in order, the bubble first, the bike second, and then third, the, so if I want to send it to the back, I can do that and then it can be kind of like that, okay? So you can create, Really cool stuff. It's very pretty. I, I am a fan of Jamboard. I will never say it enough, but it's very versatile. It's very easy to use. And uh, I have my students, I will show you later. I have my students use it a lot. So we need to move on because it's already 11 actually. Uh, I think I missed the first step. What did you click on the side to add images? Here, it is this one, add image. The one on the toolbar in the middle, the little mountain. So you click here and then it opens that. So I showed you how to upload from the computer. All right, so, okay, all right. Now I just want to tell you that you can upload images from anywhere. Let's go here. So up, you can look for images on Google. So I want to, um, to like, okay, let's be classic. I want an image of a dog. Oh, oh, this one is very funny. And so you will insert the dog. All right, and once again, because the dog arrived last, then it will be like on top of everything, right? In your pile, if you want, in your stack of images. And if you want to send it in the back, you will just click here and then it is in the back, but it is a little sad because it's a pretty dog. So you want to bring it in the front and you can add it here. It's actually a PNG, it is very nice. Um, all right, so that's about it for uh, this addition of these images. You can take it from your drive, obviously, and you can also go from Google Photos. Uh, I think the most I use is upload from my uh, computer because to be honest, Google image, it is so much easier, as I told you, to go and to look for an image of a dog and then to find an image here and then you just copy and then you paste. All right. Okay, so um, here we go. So that was finding an image and then you insert. So that's, oh yeah, I decided to do that before too, a dog. So image from Google, you can get them from your drive. You can book them from Google photo. All right, so from the drive, I told you. And then you can get anything you want. It is really, really fun. Um, I use that a lot, to be honest. It makes the slides um, not entertaining, but at least more fun, right? Um, and here I use my bubble and then I wrote hello. You can add a Bitmoji, okay? So this is like an app on, on your phone and an app on your computer. It is here actually, Bitmoji. And then you can do fun stuff like that. So I made two circles. We are going to see that very soon. And then I added that, the hat from the internet and the face from the internet. And then I have my snowman. And in France, snowman are like two levels and not three. This is why he's not sick. It is a French snowman. <laughs> this is why. And then I added the branch and I wanted it to the other side. So I just flip it and then you have it on the other side. All right. So we have seen so far to draw and then we have seen to erase. It's a pointer adding some sticky notes, adding some images. Now you can insert shapes, all right? And it's a big one. Uh, I use it a lot. I've used it in this, uh, of course. So you have different shapes, right? If you click here, this is what is opening. So you have circle and then square and so on. And you just click here. So I want to add an arrow and you come to your frame and then you just add an arrow. Um, all right. Um, so, and then of course it is the arrow option. You cannot make another one, right? If you want to make another one, you go back and then you make another one. Remember that the easiest way to 
Use two is probably either you select and I am I am on a Mac, so I will do command C and then command V and I duplicate, but you can always do it from here. You can duplicate forever, right? Like if I control C and then I want to use many arrows so I can use them and move them around. You can flip them, of course. And remember that it stops when it is um, uh, like horizontal, right? Okay. So let's just get rid of all these things for the moment. You can try on the frame, on the board I am sharing, right? Feel free to add some stuff. So some people added some photos, some people added some music instruments. I cannot move that, that's interesting. Okay, so um, yeah, so you have many, many different shapes. These are all the shapes you can get, all right? And of course you can make them bigger, you can then make them very small. And then inside, we will see how to add some text. Um, so everything here, each time you need to click and to change the shape. All right, so that's just to insert. Now let's see how to change things around. Um, you click, you insert a square, right? And then you are going to do that. And automatically, by default, it is black and white. So what you're going to do is that you're going to change the color. So it's here, right? At the top left-hand corner, you have the border and always the Google colors, right? So I will choose red and you can choose inside. So you can choose red too, so it is lighter. You can also choose transparent, okay? You can choose any color you want. Uh, some are prettier than others, right? So <laughs> these are like, Many, many, so many combination, right? And um, so it is, it, it makes, so if you want, if I take that, let's do that. I take that and I put it on this one. Oh, she was, I cannot do that, of course. Uh, you cannot copy from one jumbo to another. This is very sad too, but you can't, okay? So I will travel into Paris a little more. So let's go to the Arc de Triomphe. All right, Place de l'Etoile. So I want to do that and I will add it here. Come on, okay. So it is my computer is thinking. So I want to make a frame because it will be, you know, the more uh, contrast you have, the better, right? So I put my frame, but oh, oh, I have a problem. Like it is, I cannot see my photo. So I have two options here. I can come here and make it transparent. Okay. Or I can come here and I send the frame in the back. So if I send the frame in the back, it is not very nice. So most of the time you better choose the clear frame. Oh no, oh, she was up. Okay, here. So you need to put transparent and then the frame is much better. Um, it, it makes things nicer, more visible. Like for example, here, if I don't have that, it, it's very different, right? So adding a frame up here, adding a frame helps a lot. Even when you write something like that, you know, here. So, and then you just need to think about the order of everything. But once you think about the order, everything is pretty much very pretty on Jamboard. All right, uh, questions about that or everybody is still following? So we've covered a lot. Uh, there is one more major thing to uh, cover. It is uh, the text. So if you click here, you can add some text. It's the text box, right? So again, you just click and then it opens. Uh, all right, it's very big but let's write um, hello again, let's be original. Uh, and once again, you just bring your arrow to the corner, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can flip it, you can decide that it will be behind everything, and then you put it here. You really do whatever you want in, very, very, in a very easy way. So you, click, it opens your um, tool, toolbox, right? Uh, 
text box and then new type. And again, you will choose the color, right? So it is here. Now it is blue. I want it green. And then you have different size, right? So caption is very, very tiny, normal. I think that the most of the time I use subtitles, uh, but to be honest, if you want to make it bigger, you just squeeze and then you squeeze it. And then there is a minimum, of course, because after that you cannot see anything. So I guess that the minimum is actually caption. Oh no, it's not even, it's a little bigger. So move around again your text, okay? And then you can put your text on top of something. Because I type my text last, it is on top of everything else, all right? Because it is the last item and I'm adding. Uh, so you can choose the color of the text here. Irregular verbs, no, okay, so let's do that again. Um, all right, so up, let me bigger. So you change the color and then you can change also the alignment, right? You want to align to the left, you want to center, align to the right. It really depends on what you want to do. So enlarging, moving, and then I want to use that many, many times. So you just duplicate, right? And it gets like in the exact same position, and then you can use it to decorate something. All right. Um, so yeah, so that's the size, that's the color, that's the alignment. We've covered that. Now, yeah. Now you're starting to have a lot of things on your board and you want to create a hierarchy, right? You want stuff to be in top of each other. So you will have text and then you will add a form, right? A shape. So to make this blue over that, you will just click on order and then send to the back or the opposite, right? We can do it here. So I want to write something. I want to write, it's beautiful. I am selling Jamboard and my country at the same time. So <laughs> it's beautiful, all right, up. And then of course it will be in the front, but let's add something else. So let's add another frame, right? So I will add a little frame. And then I want the back to be white. And then of course the problem is that, uh oh. So for now it is still appearing. So don't click anywhere and click here and you can bring it to the front. To the front, hello. <laughs> mm. All right, so let's do that then. Where is it? Oh, but it's white. <laughs> this is why I cannot see it, of course. Um, all right, and so if you move it here, the problem is that everything now, because you've clicked, so you've used that in last, so it doesn't work anymore. So you will have to add this one first. Also, let's do that, actually. Up, and then you will click on that, and you will bring it to the back, and the photo, you will bring it to the back. And then you have your little frame at the corner that is on top of your photo and on top of your frame. Um, if you have several items, it is better to start with the one in the background and send everything to the back instead of um, the test icon. What do you mean? Oh, the text, it is this one. On the left side, someone is looking for the test icon. So it's on the left side, uh, it is called text box. Uh, so if you click here, it opens and then you just click in your page and it adds some text. So yeah, like think about the order and most of the time send something like the biggest, the one you want in the front, in the back, send them in the back instead of bringing everything to the front because after that it gets really complicated, particularly if you have, so here we have already four layers, right? So it's a lot. Uh, yeah, thank you. You should, it's, it's a beautiful country. All right, so we know now how to create some um text we can add some text to a shape all right we can add some text without oh where am i here sorry it is this one you can add some text for example i can add change here and we cannot see it very well so i put it in white and we can see it better so you really can do whatever you want with jamboard it is very easy i find it faster than um google slides to be honest it is um uh, more user-friendly and, and, and faster. 
Um, all right, where I am lost. Okay, so now you have the laser and obviously it is very easy to understand if you want to like demo here. Uh, if you are in your, like, if you present on Zoom, if you're in class on Zoom, if you want to use that with your students, will you be telling us how we can use Jamboard in, yeah, I'm going to be there. I think we are done actually, let me see. I will. Um, so here, up. So it's a collaborative platform, right? This is where I'm going actually, thank you. Because yeah, it's already 11.11. 11. Um, so everybody in the class works on the same board. And this is what I like. You can do that with Google Doc too, uh, but Google Doc, they cannot add some photos or anything. So what is nice is that everybody works on the same board. Uh, I can see what my students do. So first you can check that everybody is working and this is very, very uh, important. Um, and in real time, so that's really good. Um, so I guess I have a few things here. So ideas how I use in my classroom. So let me actually open my classroom and I will show you. So we are face to face at Cal CC now, but we still use the classroom and I use it for like um, when my students do their um, uh, brainstorm before writing their essay, right? So here, for example, uh, we did one, I think for, so we are now covering argument essay, right? So we have a template and then we have introduction and we should have something we work together, group activity, okay? So it's a very basic jam board. It is to train them to uh, work on different topics, right? Mainly the brainstorm of an argument essay so they can write their name, they choose a topic and then, you know, they write their, so they are in group everywhere in my classroom and I can see where I am, what is happening with their group. And so what level do you teach? So I teach level five and level six, but I think you can use that for any level. So for my brainstorm, maybe it's easier for, I'm not sure actually, I'm pretty sure you can use that for any levels, but I teach upper levels. So they answer and then I have another topic, right? Okay, so fracking. So someone added the, the, the definition because they didn't know, so they chose to add some text. And then here they added their ideas. You can see that they didn't have many ideas about that. They were not very inspired. Uh, and then from where I am, I can tell them, I can say, I can check the spelling and I can tell them, hey, I am checking the spelling of this sticky note. Um, what I like also is that when they work in group, if you go to one group and you discuss with them, only the group will benefit. Whereas if, I, if I'm here and I see something and I will tell the class A class, and so everybody will be like, go to frame number six, everybody goes there and I'm like, okay, so what do you think about that? And I, I find it very interactive because if students work on their own document, um, the other students cannot see uh, and I cannot certainly see. So I really like that and everybody is on the same one. So that's one way I use it for writing, um, for brainstorm, outlining too. So I think we can use that too because it is coming. So I have pre-writing activities. And so that's basically what I do. So you will have, so that's a PNG, right? Um, you will have their topic and then yes or no, it's argument essay, right? So pro cons, and then they will organize their body one and body two, and then they will create their opposing view. Um, so everything in one jam board, right? They first brainstorm, and then they make their body one and their body two. They organize their ideas. And remember, if they write something like uh, good here, and then of course they don't want to copy it in the next one, you just copy here. So control C and paste it here. So good will be in body two, all right? And then the next frame is about the opposing view. So they need to write their counter argument, acknowledgement, reputation, and possible solution. And then up, you go to the frame that is for their introduction. So they need to find background information and then find the hook, write their thesis statement. And then you go to the next students. And because I want them to understand that these four is just one student, and then these four, it's another student. And then the four coming after is for another student. I make them in different types of frame. And because this is a lot of frame for one student, and remember Jamboard has only 20, what I do is that I come here and then I make a copy. 
And then in my classroom, I have actually one, two, and three because I have something like 15 students, okay? So you create one, you make a copy, and then I make it in, I put it in my, I like add it in my classroom. And again, they are working on it. And I am just like checking that everybody's working, sharing ideas. And if I see that, for example, someone struggles, right? I will say, hey class, I think that like Benjamin needs some help. How can we help? And so I, it engages students more. Uh, and so this is what I really like in Jamboard. So let me move on because it's already 11. 16. Personally, I have used Jamboard for levels as low as high beginner. Some students struggle, but most catch on eventually. Yeah, you definitely need some teaching, uh, like little by little, right? So maybe you will just, um, like on the first day, you're right, like on your first day of class, you can create your Jamboard and then you can ask them, like, uh, tell us three things about you, okay? Oh, I'm white, so you cannot see, obviously. All right, so tell us three things about you, okay? And then they will write. So, of course, I cannot hide it. I will say I'm French, okay? <laughs> so you, you can just do that, and it's a very slow beginning, and they can use only sticky note at the beginning, but I think you can really use it for so many, many different things, and uh, and I like it from, from that perspective. So outline a lesson, of course, you can teach a lesson uh, in that and many activities. So I probably have um, here for my opposing view, right? So I've created a Jamboard to explain what is this special um, paragraph in argument essays, right? So I, at that time, it was a long time ago. So I think I was using a lot of sticky notes because now my frames are so different. But yeah, like you can, you know, create with the colors. It, it is a nice, there is a nice way to create some dynamics in your slides too. See now I would never do that because I would be so annoyed. So what I would do here is up, go to my images and find, for example, one metallic PNG, which is so much better. And I will make it smaller and up, goodbye number three, goodbye, the, hello number one. So that, because, I know how to use it much better than before. So I make probably better frames now. So that's for writing um, and then different activities. Like if I want to on, on, a, on a comparison essay, I start with like vacation at the mountain, vacation at the sea. And I ask them not to write anything, but to paste photos, right? So they just go online and they click and they create photos. Once again, everybody's on the same Jamboard. You create one frame, you duplicate it forever. Remember it is here. And then you, you don't need to, to create again and again, you just repeat them. You And then you can clear when your students are done, you can clear or just delete what you want to delete. So that's very, um, I like the fact that we all share one thing, it helps a lot. So for reading, you can use it for prior knowledge. Um, I can show you, for example, um, the classroom level two, level two reading. Uh, yeah, so I use that with level two, right? So it's pre-reading activities, okay? So at the beginning it is empty and then we discuss, oh, see someone deleted one image here <laughs> because there should be something, oh, it is here. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, pre-reading pre -reading activities, right? The text is about food. So you talk about food here, you ask them. And then I have like name as many food as possible in one minute. And then there is some warm up activities. And I like it also to present vocabulary. Uh, it's a very good way to, to present your um, definition and then an example. And the students, they know that in the classroom, it is here. It is just very easy to find. They know it's vocabulary and then they have the template. So that's good for reading. Um, what else do I have? Yeah, reading out loud. I have a full set of, uh, to explain, you know, the breathing because I, I ask them to record themselves when they read out loud. So that works too. And reading activities, anything there are. Um, I do a lot of podcasts. Let me show you that. So up. 
And so they actually today did a, that, but I, there is no, so I presented because I listen to podcasts a lot and I think my students should listen to more podcasts. And so I made like, you know, you can add a QR code because what is bad is that if you add like a, a, a link on Google Jamboard, it is not a clickable link. Uh, so that's, that's bad. So because you need to copy and paste, so it's very useless. So I created this like QR code. So they just need to scan and then it opens because I really wanted to listen to different um, uh, podcasts. So it is my advertisement to them. So you can do that, right? Um, many, many things you can do. And what we do for the podcast is that we share that. So once again, everybody can write on it. We listen to a podcast and my students, can you put links to YouTube videos? Yes, uh, probably here, right? Hmm. No, I don't think so. You can do that on Google Slides, but not here because there is nothing clickable. Yeah, that's the thing. For now, Jamboard has nothing you can click on directly. So you cannot add anything. Uh, like you cannot add a video, you can add the, the, you will be able to add the link and people will have to, um, to click on it, uh, to, to copy and paste. So it's not very handy. It's another thing I have asked to, uh, Google people for a while now. So no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, QR code works. It works very well. Um, all right. So here with my students, we listen to the podcast and they take notes. They take notes in the sticky notes, right? So everybody writes what they get. And then little by little, I check, we check the spelling, we add things if it is missing. And after that, um, because when you listen to news, they are like very often um, hard vocabulary. I create a vocabulary here. So once again, the definition, and it, it doesn't take very long. Uh, I do that during my class, right? We arrive in class, we listen to the podcast, and then I do that. So I really like that too. Everybody comes on the Jamboard, everybody can see. And then when they review, they know where the vocabulary is. It's also better than having one file for the vocabulary, one file for this, one file for that. It, it's better to have everything at the same place. So that's for my podcast. And I also ask them, um, do I still have it? I don't know. For um, reading. Yeah, so reading, uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure I have something. Uh, so yeah, they uh, needed to make a presentation about a short article, right? And so you can make very pretty presentation on uh, Google Jamboard. So I asked them to the same, add the definition, tell the story, you know, add a map, and they have a guideline, and then they need to tell you where it is and so on. And, you know, like once again, it is very easy to add multiple things in one frame. It doesn't take long, and, and I find it quite pretty, actually. Um, all right, so that, that is for reading. They read an article and then they summarize and they make a presentation. It works very well. Mm, what else can I show you? Do your students get on Jamboard in a computer? So um, it works well on tablets and it works well on computers. Uh, it doesn't work very well on phones, to be honest. So most of my students, they, they know, I mean, upper level, they mainly both all have a computer. Yeah, no, they don't have a tablet. They bring their own computer. Uh, we don't we don't have a computer for everybody. So, um, but everybody everybody brings their computer, particularly for writing, because all my activities are are on on Jamboard. So they know. Uh, very few use on their phones, but on any tablet, it it works fine. Once you find how to use it, definitely. <laughs> It is it it works well. Um, can I show you something else about the way I use Jamboard? Probably I can show you, like during the pandemic, and I still use that for my grammar classes. Uh, oh, I have also something very neat to show you for practical English. So we have a book, and we have an excellent book, but I. I don't like when my students all have the nose on their book, right? I like having them engaged. And so I 
the book we have is a grammar in context and there are many, many tables with the explanation. And basically I've um, created like Jamboard for every single table, but it was during the pandemic and I had a lot of time. If I want, so I have a question. If I want the entire class to work on one Jamboard, do you recommend making a copy or just have them work? No, I, so for my, for my writing, they, they all work on the same and then I just delete because otherwise it, it's too many. Uh, if you make copy of every one of them, so they, they make their activity, they do their brainstorm. And when, when the quarter is done, I delete and then I use them again. Um, so I would make a copy when it took a long time to do it and you are scared that your students mess up. Or for example, if you have that and at the end you want to add an exercise where everybody can write. Uh, in that case, I would definitely make a copy because it's likely that someone will like, you know, and even by accident, right, they will like delete something or, but otherwise for the collaborative activities, I never make copies. So that was one question. What school do you teach again? It is Cal CC, California College of Communication. It is in uh, the Silicon Valley uh, here, California College of Communication in Campbell. Uh, so yeah, they use their phone too, but for Jamboard, it is not very good. But most of my students, uh, because they are adults, so they, they, they basically all have a computer or at least a tablet or Google, um, like Google book or something like that. Um, so yeah, I use that for my grammar. You can do some activities and I wanted to show you something about um, practical English because I am making a presentation today and my students, they have a task to do while I will be online. And this task is about the wonders of the world. So this is all my guidelines. And then I have two Jamboards. And again, I will see right away after my presentation in just a few clicks, if they did it. And I am saying that because normally they're watching me and guys do your activity. <laughs> so they have topics to choose from. Okay, so that is very, very, oh, some has decided already. Mm -hmm. So they have topics to choose from. I guess that these two students were very motivated about the exact lines. So they choose a topic and then they come here uh, on the research one. And once again, so you have the guidelines. And after that, I made one to show them what you can do, all right? So they have very strict guidelines about the, the maps and so on. And then this is what they can do, all right? So they can create. And again, I have, oh, someone did Machu Picchu already. So the guys, you did it already. So they did the job already. It is very nice, actually. So see, I can see right away my students, what they did. And I am very proud of you guys. Students can access Jamboard on their smartphone. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, it's doable. It's a question from the internet. Doable, but not easy. You're right. You're right, Ruth. It is. So they have done some pretty good work, actually, uh, already. So some people work on Nazca lines. You see, they use. And I like it when I see that they use um, some different things um, for Jamboard. I am very proud of them when they do that. Uh, and then someone did something on the Fushimi Inari Shrine. So yeah, so it's it's really nice. And some still have to do the work. And because I want them to use two frames, I created two frames and then they use them and then they are done. They cannot go further than two frames. Wow. So guys, you did a good, good work. So that they will present next week. Um, not a lot of room, so they cannot write very big comments. So I like it also because it forces them to speak a lot. Uh, and here the same, they had made a lot of, you know, there is so many layers uh, on this Jamboard. So it is pretty amazing. Uh, so you can do pretty neat stuff and your students can do really neat stuff too. So that's really fun. All right, so I think we are done. Are there any questions? Do you assign slide? No, no, no. You know, they just move forward. And then I tell them usually you write your name so that nobody takes your frame. And uh, and then the people are like, OK, this one is taken. So I go to the next one. But you can. You can totally do that. Um, yeah, if you have younger, younger, mine are young adults. So they are like oh, adults. So they you know they they know they just move move forward or when i see two people writing on the same slide i just tell them so 
it's it's a lot of freedom it's a lot of convenience um really doing like i think what what is the best is the writing the uh the brainstorm and then seeing them organize their ideas and i can see everything from my desk i can go to tiktok personally but then i can ask the class if they agree we can work together it's a collaborative tool it brings a lot of interaction and collaboration in the classroom and i have one less question share your presentation at my department meeting so yeah as long as you say it's me and you don't pretend you did it i don't mind you um uh sharing my presentation but so this is the number one if you want to open it this is the uh anyone with the link is a viewer done and if you want to modify i guess that you make a copy and then you can modi you can modify and this is just the introduction so it's not very interesting but i will just provide it to you too all right any question did you like was it is, do you think it's hard to use jamboard anybody all right so we are done I hope that you are going to use it, to be honest, um, because it's a super amazing tool. Um, and um, like for any level, it is really neat. Um, yeah, it requires some students training, but start right from the beginning, step by step, and then they will get used to it. And your students, they are also curious. So they will try and they will discover by themselves. So I hope you will use it. I have a presentation this afternoon about Google Forms, because I'm a Google woman. So Google Forms at two, two something, 210 maybe, or something like that. So if you want to assist, it's also like a follow along um, um, workshop. So it is it is great to learn. And I will say thank you. And I hope you use Jam a lot in your classrooms. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you, Celine. Bye. Celine? Yes? Could you email me the your presentation? I would love to share it. All right, so Suzanne, right? Yes. Let me find your email address back in the up, 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 up. If not, I can, I can redo it again. Yeah, can you do it again? Because I don't know where it is anymore. Okay. So Celine, you. do we have access to your presentation or you have to email it to us individually? So uh, I don't know how to do that with OTAN actually. Uh, you have mm. in, in the, in the I, I pasted the link in the, um, in the chat of the Zoom. So you can get them from there. And then I can make them available mm, okay. probably uh, through OTAN, but I don't know how to do that. But you, you have the links, so open the links before we close this session so that after that you can make a copy or you can just, you can use them as they are. I mean, you know, it's it, okay. It, I see it. Thank you. Bye-bye.